opportunities that he never got to have in terms of leading a country because of colonialism but he embodied all of the values that we fight for today thank you Anthony. and thank you to Jerry and all of the organizers of the Knights of Rizal and all of the women of Rizal it's a pleasure to be here to is somebody that we all think of often when we appreciate our democracy and when we value the the fact that Canada is a not only an independent country but a country in which voting and democracy matters so much to all of us so thank you again for your, your invitation today mabuhay on 120 years of filipino independence and let's celebrate this afternoon with this beautiful day that we have thank you again on tv sometimes to give us peace in honor of the clients that we have. The Philippines from the last century, especially for the independence and the pride of the Philippines during the Second War, and I believe that Canada will continue to play a very important role in maintaining peace and security and the people to what we do today. Thank you. Thank you very much. So whenever we have problems, we go to you. Abrisal at KGOR. First of all, I would like to acknowledge the presence, the MP of Montreal, and Rachel Bindaya, candidate for Liberal Party, take at uh, Otrimont riding. We have also here Sami and uh, for Nomi, Sir James Villapaz, the deputy of our national hero. Strengthen the bonds of our to believe in ideas 
and teachings of Dr. Jose Rizal. Thank you very much. May God bless us all. Okay. Now we go down the line, Sir Bert Abiera. Welcome everyone for today's celebration of our national hero. It is just a gesture that we annually award hero for the works that he has started centuries ago. But today we are here to do the same thing as what he did. Rizal is one of the first Filipino among the OMW. Well, that's a good reason for that. Speak to Why do I call him the first Filipino? <laughs> because that was not a Philippine nation. The Filipino has a nation of words only because he identified us, Dr. Jose Luzal. That's the part of the first Filipino. Because before then, there was no Filipino nation. It was then Islas, just Filipinas before as Spanish colonial entity. And that is why, and therefore, we only have to emulate him, to try to be like him if we are to be a real Filipino. We are not known to be staying on this microphone. I just want to remind you, today we're celebrating the um, per anniversary of our national hero. I guess for myself, my opinion is the birth of Dr. Jose Rizal. Without program because I, I guess everybody's already hungry. Bye. <laughs> I'm going to sing to you a song in Spanish. Thank <laughs> you. 
si parang parang tumaas ng konti ang upuan na mag parang ano siya ha That's why. <laughs> Bumalik ang sagot na tila anong at sa bawat lugar ay mauunin ang panggala ng hangin at sa liyong mga awal. Kalayaan, narinig namin doon sa kanina sa mga nalakang hapang doon sa kanina. Narinig namin sa mga gagawa ng hiyoga sa mga nisla at mga karapatan sa mga nilita ng hiyoga. Kalayaan, ba lahat ng pa Bawat magkata ay nalipot at ang mga titik apoy ay ginabadya. Lahat ng tao ay isa ang sipa. Kahit at kapatid ay pagilang buhay. Kalayaan! I am actually the uh, Deputy Commander of the Knights of Rizal of Eastern Canada. And today, in connection with the celebration, we invited a well-known politician by the name of uh, Mr. Al's father. And uh, he's actually uh, a good friend of our community from the uh, Liberal Party uh, federal uh, government. We also invited uh, the one uh, that is so famous uh, fighting racism. Okay, this is uh, actually uh, Mr. Ko Ning. Uh, this is the guy that we approach when there is racism involved as far as uh, community is concerned. We also invited uh, the well-known personalities from our community. So we're all here celebrating again the annual uh, birthday uh, celebration of our national hero Dr. Jose Rizal. During the early part, this is a brief history of uh, this monument of our national hero, Dr. Jose Rizal. In 1997, I started lobbying uh, Montreal City Hall, and it was under the leadership of our dear mayor, uh, Borg. Okay, so we actually love it for this. I personally I went to City Hall and request that a monument be uh, erected in honor of our national hero, Dr. Rosario And finally, uh, as you can see in 1998, 
it was granted in uh, actually June. Uh, it was granted to us, uh, despite of the fact that there are so many other countries that are requesting uh, to have their also their national hero to be uh, uh, recognized here. But it was the Montreal uh, Filipino community that actually uh, survived this uh, um, hectic uh, application from the CEO. And this is through our friendship with the mayor board that we win on this side. Okay, so we're proud. Uh, once again, uh, Dr. Serizal is here in Montreal, uh, Quebec, Canada. Every year, we're actually uh, commemorating and celebrating the birthday of Dr. Jose Rizal here in Montreal, the borough of Cotonez, NDG, uh, Montreal, Canada. The, I'm glad also to mention to you that the city of Montreal actually provided, provided us with the permit and to use the facilities. They also provided us with uh, the tables. And uh, in return, actually, we provided all the people that are here uh, free food or free lunch today. And uh, you should see the amount of food that our community had produced. And it was true. The night so result under the uh, leadership of uh, uh, Mr. Gary, uh, Sir Gary Dancio and his uh, um, um, vice commander, uh, Mr. Uh, Hector, uh, we were able to provide this uh, enough uh, uh, food for everybody and we still have more after lunch. So, uh, you missed this uh, gathering next year, we're inviting you to join us, to experience the expertise of Filipinos, how we actually entertain our guests and friends. Thank you. Oh yeah, don't forget to like and share, like and share, like and share this video.